And there it is, guys. What's up? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. We... <laughs> so, as you guys can see, we are starting off our final episode of Pokemon Emerald in Pokemon Fire Red because, yes, we used our Emerald team to win the Pokemon League in Kanto. Yes. And, boy, was it a struggle. It was a literal struggle, guys. I swear to God it was. Oh, my God. Anywho, um, so yeah, what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. So in this episode right here, guys, I am just going to be showing you guys two separate battles plus the final battle that we got going up against Steven Stone. As you guys can see, you know, we just won the Pokemon League yet again with our Hoenn team. And as promised, we did trade, like, we did trade our Hoenn team right here and our Kanto team to Pokemon, uh, what was it called, Emerald. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot in this episode. Now, many of you guys are going to be wondering, like, hey, Draven, um, don't, don't forget about the Battle Frontier. Well, that's the thing, guys. The Battle Frontier will be done in a separate uh, series because it's going to take a lot, and I mean a lot of uh, effort to do all that stuff. But as you guys can see... These guys are now both Hoenn and Kanto, so what's gonna go uh, what, what's gonna go down in a much more easier way is our Kanto team's gonna wreck the crud out of Hoenn. So yeah, this one right here, we oh my god, we struggled, we literally struggled, guys. So I'll be right back with you guys in the final part of our Hoenn our Hoenn championship right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see. Things are a little bit easier here in Pokemon Emerald because, well, my team is a little bit, uh... It's just a little bit stronger. Just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we're we're definitely smashing through people right here. Uh, damn. Never, never knew, never thought that it would be that hard, especially going in Pokemon Fire Red with a weaker team. I mean, that's what happens when there's different uh, level sets and all that stuff. And, well, we're kicking some butt right now. And, uh, well, the reason for this is because, yes, I want to actually win... I want to actually give ribbons to these Pokémon, knowing that they're, like, you know, they're the best in the whole world and all that stuff. And as you guys can see, I'm kicking some butt. I'm using strategy, and I'm just letting the curse kill, uh, my Lodic right here. So we're gonna use agility, and, of course, Drill Peck is gonna mess this Pokémon up. And nothing cures a, uh... Nothing cures a what you call it a uh, a curse unless you switch out your Pokemon. But unfortunately for Wallace, yeah, he has no other Pokemon. And as you guys can see, my level 71 Pokemon messed Wallace up. So there you go, guys. Two championships, two different teams, opposite ends, vice versa, the whole shebang and all that stuff. This, I guess, I guess, I guess this is a pretty good ending for Pokemon Emerald. For the series in itself, and uh, well, let's see. I, I don't know what I could say. Hmm. What can I say? Yes. Uh, yeah. This episode right here is just gonna be a little bit informative, and then we're gonna be battling with our final team, which will be our Pokemon uh, team from Fire Red, because they're a little bit more stronger than the uh, than the can than the uh, Hoenn region Pokemon. Hopefully, they kind of survive and all that stuff because yeah Steven is a bit stronger and all that stuff so yes yeah, so let's go right ahead and continue on our little a uh, little adventure right here so I'll be let's go ahead and see them getting in, uh, getting into the Hall of Fame right here so look at this that's right look at that guys so two-time champions now in the Hoenn region and vice versa look at that look at this look at this okay freaking uh, look at that Leonardo's kicking some butt yeah Oh, look at this, Budkiss, looking pretty snazzy in his uh, Emerald version. Look at this, like, I love that they move. Holy crud. That's right, Smoke. Cannot believe I used Smoke on this one right here. And our good old buddy, Smasher herself, the Hall of Fame. They literally smashed through this whole freaking thing. Okay. Alrighty. And, yes, me, your badass host, again, a champion. Anywho... I'm going to fast forward this, guys, and uh, we're going to get to the nitty gritty, and that is going to Steven Stone. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Little Root Town, and the team that we got is our Pokemon Fire Red team because they are buffed up and ready to go. 
let's go straight to Slayport and go to the Battle Frontier. Now, like I said before, guys, the Battle Frontier will be saved for a later date. I will be doing it. Just it will be for a later date because, yes, it is all strategy and all mess you up and all that stuff. So here is the SS title, and the next place you have to go to is, well, let's see. Where, you, where would you like to go to? The Battle Frontier. Yes. Let's go aboard the Battle Frontier. And, well, we don't have to battle anybody inside the, the ship. But here it is, guys, the Battle Frontier. In all its not-so-big glory, we're going to be entering, and just like that, somebody's going to be looking at us. It's like, is this your first time here? Please step this way. The front lines of the Pokemon battling. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. For a first-time visitor, we issue the Frontier Pass. It's for, it's for use at all the facilities in the Battle Frontier. Here you are. And here we get a Battle Frontier Pass, and it will be in our trainer's card. Well, if it isn't Draven, you came out here! And everybody's all like, oh, Mr. Scott, sir, good day, uh, good day to you, sir. Hmm. It's great to see you here, it really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll experience, a, you'll also experience a pure essence of battling. I also have many quarters here, so feel free to visit at any time. Yeah, so he must be the owner of this whole place right here. And, well, we're going to be entering... And there it is, guys, the Battle Frontier. We're not going to be taking a tour, but as many of you guys already know, it is filled with a lot of stuff. And as you guys can see, yeah, this is our Frontier Pass. We have to earn seven, uh, seven Frontier uh, symbols, and it's not just the silver symbol, but, you know, gold symbol, uh, silver symbol as well. As you guys can see, there are seven spots. The Battle Tower, the Battle Dome, Battle Palace, the Battle Arena... The Battle Factory, the Battle Pike, and the Battle Pyramid, each one of them will be, you know, different in its own particular way. I believe we've already, like, you know, battled in a way of, like, you know, uh, in the way of the Battle Frontier in the Battle Tents over in various cities. So, the big thing now is to finish this game right here. We have to go down that hole right there. I said hole. And, uh, well... Yeah, it's that quick, guys. Very, very quickly. And uh, well, I want to say I want to say something right here. Okay, so it's kind of funny how like I, I've watched my previous walkthroughs and uh, especially in Pokemon Emerald, the older the older version and all that stuff. And I just realized that like, man, I I really made an effort in uh, I really made an effort in shortening the the series and keeping it to a nice number. And as you guys can see right here. We got ourselves a, uh, well, we got ourselves a, whatchamacallit, uh, we got ourselves a pseudo wudo. So what we need to do here is, I think we need to use a water, a water or something like that. I don't know, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use the Whalmer Pail. Use, and when you do that, this guy is not going to like it, and he's going to be attacking. So here it is, guys. We're going to be getting attacked by a pseudo wudo. Look at that, level 40. And, uh, oh man, this is going to be tough because most of my Pokemon, as you can see, are at level 70. So whatever happens, happens. You know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. And it looks like it's weak enough. So let's go right ahead and try and capture it with an Ultra Ball right here. But like I was saying, guys, I've, I've really made the effort to to shorten the the amount of episodes going into a walkthrough, mainly because, well, shoot, you know, I don't know, I I, I tend to have a habit, and look at that, we defeated Sudowoodo, so it is what it is, guys. I really don't mind about Sudowoodo, but yeah, I really tend to uh, to shorten the episodes now because I tended to what you might call it. Uh, Expand or I, I to expand the the walkthrough by city and all that stuff And I know that many of you guys didn't really like seeing that so Yeah, we kind of changed that whole thing up and it's 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 a good thing that we did because well shoot <laughs> it, it you know It actually helps out for everybody So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just take away seismic toss We don't really need it Leonardo got his thing and so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go straight into the cave that Hold Steven Stone. Now, again, be aware that Steven Stone does have level 70 Pokemon. He's not going to be an easy target. And, well, here it is, guys. Actually, this is the Artesian Cave. So, yeah, we're not going to be finding Steven Stone in here. I just realized that. 
But the Atesian Cave, will, it will be home to a few Pokemon here and there. And, well, let's see. Is there anything we, a we actually can find except for that? I don't even know. Maybe uh, nothing else. But, yeah, here we have the Carbos. And what's going to happen here is we're going to be going through an extra an extra place. This will lead us into the Battle Frontier. So, let's see. I saw a sticky sword of Pokemon, a long tail whipped up, and it was hiding uh, under a boulder. Oh, wow. Never mind. So, yeah, this is the Battle Frontier, guys. You'll be able to find some different uh, places right here, and each one of them has its... Uh, has its a uh, well, its struggle, its the uh, its its bit difficulty and all that stuff. If you guys remember in the past few episodes, we managed to go, we managed to what was it called? Uh, to battle in the battle tent. Each one of them had a match that was linked into the battle frontier. Like for instance, the random battle where you pick up a Pokemon and the Pokemon by its nature will choose the move that it wants to 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 attack with. And that right there was straight out of luck, and uh, yeah, it was a yeah that that right there was a struggle. Now, I believe you had to win 21 times here in order to get your silver your silver uh, symbol. But going into the next one, I believe you have to win another 21 times. I believe there's one more that you have to win like a hundred times. Which, yeah, that right there is like not really not really my bag right there. So what's gonna happen right here, guys, is we're gonna go straight to Fall Arbor Town. And we're gonna be going straight to the, straight into the granite cave because, yep, good old Draven completely forgot that Steven Stone is right there. Don't know why. So let's go right ahead. And well, let's see. Let's go with another. Let's go with another Max Repel right here. Like I said, guys, we are completing this episode or we are completing this walkthrough with this one battle right here. And uh, <laughs> trust me, it's gonna be a tough one. Steven Stone. It's yeah, Steven Stone himself is just freaking badass, especially in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If it was up to me, I'd probably have him at like, I'd probably have him as a uh, well the uh, the last battle at level 70. And what you need to do now is you have to locate this sucker. So where the heck is he? He is probably around here somewhere. Let's see, there might be a cave around here. So let's go right ahead and do that. And speed this up just a little bit. And he is right up there. So what we need to do now is put on another repel. And let's go right ahead and go downstairs right here. And I think he has to go right up here. And there is the cave, the, ma the meteor falls. Wow, granite cave. Huh. They both seem the same, and you will be finding Steven Stone at the very end right here. Again, Steven Stone is a very, very difficult Pokemon trainer to go up against. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that we have level 70 Pokemon ourselves. So we're going to start off with our good old buddy, Smoke. And here's Steven. He's like, oh, wow, Draven. I'm amazed you knew where, where to find me. Do you, uh... Maybe want think of me as a just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at Sutopolis Space Center. You should have a very good idea how good I am. Okay, Draven. If you're not if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. So here it is, guys, the final battle in our walkthrough, and it is against Steven Stone. The previous champion of the Hoenn League, and well, this guy has a Skarmory. This guy is not joking around. So let's go with the curse right here. That way, if he tries to switch it out, then we, we might have a benefit right here. So level 77, it's not that bad. We gotta, you know, cut our, our stuff in half, and here comes his spikes attack. This right here, you gotta be aware of something. You gotta be aware that, you know, each time you switch out a Pokemon, it will. It will inflict damage, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon just in case. So uh, let's see. Dude, did I bring some? Uh... Oh yeah, we do have some full restore. So there we go. Steel Wing hits us. Played a bit with the curse. Let's go with the double team. And smoke. Okay, double team. There we go. Double team. Let's go with a full restore. Double team. Full restore, and there we go. Skarmory has been defeated. Okay, so we have that advantage on us. And here comes a Claydol. So Claydol right here should be 
Should be an easier Pokemon to battle, but this strategy is gonna keep on going. Now that we are like double teamed up to the max right here, so let's go with a Shadow Ball. And that right there hits Claydol. And Claydol is like not feeling it right now, so here comes a Reflect. That will, yeah, raise its physical defense. Let's go with a Shadow Ball. And just like that. Damn it! Okay, so that's considered a physical. And how in the hell is that even a... Okay, I'm getting a little ma a little angry right there, and yes. Double team succeeds, so let's go with a Shadow Ball for the win, and there goes Claydol. Alrighty, okay. And Shocker grows to level 77 because, you know, it has the experience share from the other version. And here comes Metagross. This Pokemon right here happens to be his most powerful one. This guy is at level 78. And we're going to curse it because, yeah. Okay, so curse. Try and affect this guy. Let's see if Steven Stone can actually, you know, switch out his Pokemon. And here comes a Shadow Ball. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so now now I'm a little mad. Okay, so there we go. He's hit our Pokemon. Let's go with Big Booty Bug Kiss. And yes, our spikes are going to be getting hit. And well, Metagross is uh, clear body is preventing any kind of uh, that mess up, any kind of the Intimidate. But there's a curse. This one right here will go with the Flamethrower. Hopefully this one will mess it up. And come on. Come on. Let's go, and there you go, Metagross, not loving me right now. Alrighty, and look at this, Big Booty Buckus grows to level 70, Shocker as well, and Agron is going to be coming out. Let's go with our good old buddy, Leonardo. Leonardo, not so Da Vinci. Now, I'm thinking of using Rain Dance, but he does have two Pokemon that thrive off of that, so what we're going to do... Uh, Agron is looking all powerful and all that stuff. Let's go, you know what, screw it, let's go Rain Dance. And a Thunder Attack. And just like that, he was about to hit me with a freaking Solar Beam. Holy crud, okay, so here comes a Cradley. And Cradley, as many of you guys already know, is the evolved form of Leap, the Pokemon that we revived a few episodes ago. And well, look at this. Cradley, looking pretty mean. And well, let's go right ahead and go with a Drill Peck. Steel Wing. And that run hits us pretty hard, so let's go with Big Booty Butt Kiss. And hopefully this one will affect it. I kind of did this to myself, so Aerial Ace. And wow, he is uh, he's coming back for everything, so let's go with an Earthquake Attack. And just like that, Cradley has been defeated. Alright, Almaldo. And thankfully the rain is going to go away right here. Armaldo, a ground type Pokemon. And that slash attack is going to be doing some good. And there we go. Super power. And that one nearly messes us up. Alright, let's go right ahead and use a full restore on our Smasher right here. And go with another one. And Earthquake Attack. Wow. Okay, so we need to switch up Pokemon real quick. And Spikes hit us. Full restore onto Leonardo. And let's go right ahead and go with a Surf Attack, and just like that, we have defeated our good old buddy, Steven Stone. Look at that. <laughs> you! I had no idea how good you become. <laughs> well, we traded our Pokemon from different versions. Come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed in Granite Cave in Duford, I had this feeling I thought uh, that you would eventually become the champion. My prediction usually come through. comes true, I should say. And where will you go from here? Dot, dot, dot. I even I couldn't tell you that and that is pretty much it guys yeah kind of anticlimactic I kind of wish that you know he would have disappeared just like red but that right there is how we do things guys and well let's have a final thought before we we end up leaving for the next adventure which is Pokemon Platinum and I don't have an escape rope crap baskets okay so we're, yeah we're gonna have to go through here Anywho, um, again, it has been a pleasure, guys, for, for me to upload all these videos and all that stuff. I'm, I'm very, very happy the way everything went. Yes, I know that I rushed a lot of the stuff, but you know what? It is what it is, guys. That's how I do things, and it's going to continue on in Pokemon Platinum. I think the only one, the only game that it won't be... The only games that won't be getting rushed will be the Nintendo 3DS games, and that's because... 
That's mainly because they don't have a speed button. I'm actually using a capture card for all that stuff, so... Yeah, that, there's the answer to your guys' question. Anywho... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, uh... I'm very happy with the way things went, especially with this. You guys got both trades. You guys got, you know, different Pokemon. Different, uh, teams and all that stuff. And, again, I'm proud of everything that I have done right here. So... The following week... If, uh, depending on what happens right here, the following week we will be going into Pokemon Platinum. And like I said before, yes, we will be speeding it up because, well, a lot of the stuff there just kind of just like it, it, it just, it's slow. Um, alongside with wherever I am in Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I'm pretty sure that the next remake walkthrough will be coming out pretty soon too. I am working on a lot of things, guys, off the screen. That way I can have your guys' views and enough time for me to do other things outside of YouTube and all that stuff. As stated before, I have a new merch store. I have a merch store coming out from Fourth Wall. And uh, if you guys want to, if you guys want to buy some stuff, you know, uh, support the channel with the uh, with the merch and all that stuff. It's right down there below. Let me know. Tweet it. I don't know. Instagram it and all that stuff. Other than that, guys, this concludes our episode. This concludes our adventure here in the Hoenn region for the Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance. I will see you guys next week as we start our newest adventure, and that is in Pokemon Platinum. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.